We have two allegiances. We're gonna go for it. We're going for it, guys. This is gonna be it. Tactical battle imminent. If we lose, I'm blaming everyone in chat. What we might also end up doing, as far as testing, Ready. is do the smaller internal test, but then out. also do Choose your like a sort of open beta on in the Admiral's Lounge, because there Enemy is a lot sighted. that's changed and needs to be tested. All right, so there's that. Choose your reinforcements. Put an allegiance on either side. Uh, I thought I had a ISDs. We don't have ISDs. Okay. That that that. Also, the newer units haven't been added to. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. The newer units haven't been added to the uh, script that makes them come in on different levels yet. So that's part of why it hasn't shown up too much. Get over here and help. Uh, okay, why does the NR have ISDs? Uh, the New Republic in this GC is actually a mix of the Havens, New Republic, and Imperial Remnant because they were all sort of working together to fight Zinj. The lasers are our target. Question where you're going to add more in say 2.3. We do have some plans for stuff that we want to do, but we're not doing in uh, in 2.2, so I guess you could call that 2.3. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Or which I use we're gonna use or not use. Do we have eliminating target? How about a little help direction? They're suing enemy forces. I mean, we said originally that 1.0 is the end, so... When I say stuff's the end, it's best just to not listen to me. Which of course means that when we do say we are going to make more stuff, it probably means we aren't. Who knows anymore? Our target priority is the laser cannons. Order confirmed. Destroy the shield generator. Where are you? Ah, I can't take the another hit like that. Talk. Someone cover me! I got fighters on me! Get over here and help! I can't stay out here! I'm running out of maneuvers! I mean, I still I'm doubt we'd ever do the asserter. It's... Doing the Asserter is basically the resources to make four or five other ships in line. Like, like I said, the Bellator that Robin's been working on, he's been working on for the better part of eight or nine months already. He's still not done. It's close, but... Especially when it's, like... As far as what it would do in-game, it would be extremely similar to... Uh, the executor, and Active. we don't need to duplicate roles, especially when the other stuff we'd add could be stuff Weapons like the sea ruby ships, uh, more haven stuff, and maybe make them playable. But basically, we're looking for stuff that adds new experiences to the game, as opposed to trying to just make variety for its own sake, which is sort of what the asserter would be. And of course, there's a priority on stuff that we can use in ascendancy. ICW and Stellaris, which the Asserter probably wouldn't be useful for. The Allegiance uses the exact same. It's uh, the exact same projectiles for the Allegiance. How about a little help? Can anyone 
Anyone else see him? Where are you? Our target priority is the laser cannons. The lasers are our target. I mean, when we're, when we're deciding to add stuff, it's not really a question of, like, should this thing be in the mod, yes or no? It's, should this thing be in the mod, and what are we... Like, what is it going to be in instead of? Like, what do we reprioritize in order to make that happen? Because the resources we have to make the mod are fairly limited, and there's certain stuff that is more valuable than other stuff. And not everything's really equal as far as what's getting or what needs to get added. So the like I said, the resources to make the Bellator and SSD that's that detailed is significantly higher than what it takes to make, for example, redoing the strike cruiser. Or making a bunch of new Haven ships, sea ships, whatever. Do you mean Dub Artist personally or the faction? Whether the Aradu Authority gets to build an SSD, or if Dove Artist himself is going to be one in the hero. The Rado Authority will have access to the uh, to the executor. See you, Bivis. Thanks for coming. I mean, this version already has a ton of new Imperial ships, and I don't know that there's even that many left that we could add. We have a lot of the bases covered as far as Imperial ships goes. Where are the others? Shields almost gone. Pursuing enemy forces. Unable to shake them. Taking him out. Taking fire. Tightening up. Cover me now. I've been hit. Watch for enemy ships. Well, that was a majority of the New Republic fleet here. Go after them. The fleet commanders caused significant issues that completely broke the AI when they were in, that's why we removed them. Uh, so I don't think we'd put them back in, or at least not in the same way. Like, the AI would build fleets of literally 200 fleet commanders and just leave them there, and that would be all they did. Regroup. Some of the GCs are even still a little bit broken because of that. Like the Shadowhand GC AI seems particularly affected by it for some reason, even though it's the same AI between all the all the GCs. But I think this allegiance is blocking the Iron Fist. And these particles, uh, like I said before, uh, but I think Rim just wasn't here yet. Uh, they aren't really final. Right now they're just scaled down and sped up, but uh, ideally we'd like to at some point do newer particles that are a little bit bigger than this, nowhere near as big as they were before. But something that, because these were made to be a specific size, looks more like they fit in the size. Sort of. I mean, hilarious isn't the word I'd use for the fleet of the span. That was... Possibly the most frustrating bug we've had. No, second most frustrating bug. The most frustrating bug we had actually delayed the ICW development for almost a year. And it was recent. I only resolved it in the last couple of months. Uh, there was an issue where the happened. 
If you moved your ships to an enemy planet, it would never initiate the battle. Planetary control achieved. There Constructing. Construction. I complete. guess we can just keep going. We can keep pushing with that. Construction complete. The AI completely ignored the hard co the limits we put on it. We did literally everything possible to stop them being able to get them, and they still got them. We had to rip them out. Uh, there should be a news post fairly soon with uh, more updates on the changes to the PA stuff. We did the heroes today or yesterday, depending on where you read it. Um, right away. But in general, they're losing the Lucra Hulk, Look, they're getting the Secular uh, Gladiator, they're getting the ATTV, uh, that sort of thing. They're also getting the Bellator. I'm gonna try not to use Iron Fist where I can. Reinforcements cancelled. Reinforcements cancelled. The lasers are our target. Hi, call, babe. Confirmed. Cruiser here. Attacking. Navigating. Stay at the orders. Reporting in. Choose your reinforcements. Fall out. The lasers are our target. I've actually done a significant amount of work recently that's just been organizing stuff, so making like spreadsheets and stuff that'll make it easier for us to coordinate within the team. So it's not stuff that's going to be super interesting for anyone because you won't actually really see the result of that, but it makes it a lot more efficient when we are working, uh, especially because we've expanded the team quite a bit recently. Uh, so Kusi Dave, who some of you from the forums may recognize, he recently joined the team as well as Delta. Uh, Dave does a lot of XML coding. Delta is helping me with a lot of the rigging for AW and working out a lot of infantry stuff with me. Uh, we've also got Jacob, who's the artist I mentioned earlier, who joined the team. He's temporarily missing, so hopefully he comes back. But also when Robin's done with uh, the Bellator, he should be able to help speed things along with the other art as well. And then when we are done the Bellator, I'll try to find a quick way to show it off to everyone. Nothing dislike about Zinch. Just... I've never liked the character as much. And he's a bit... Uh, like, his ships are really just a, more of a mix of Imperial and Rebel stuff. So I just find it less interesting. Like Maldrude with the pirate stuff and the other stuff I kind of want to do for them, it's a bit more interesting. Construction complete. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going to Libyan because they're until we get the ground forces, we're not going to be able to do anything. But at least we'll have the construction complete. Eh, Tactical nope. battle imminent. Is that even worth? No. Construction complete. Try Building to get more under ground units there. And we'll stop in Noquazor. Because I still. Oh, I still have Marist. Never mind. Tactical battle imminent. 
Some Haven ships. Did I lose my Pathfinder? Uh, the Praetor 2 is still in the mod. Uh, I'm Inbound. not quite sure what the second part of your question means. Uh, but as far as like larger ships, they have the Praetor and they have the, you know, the Bellator. Choose your reinforcements. This is the captain. Crap. I may have to adjust the bone facings to the allegiance because I think they're pointing at like 45 degree angles away from the ship. If they're pointing forward, it's a bit easier to get them to shoot stuff properly. Uh, why is Imps doesn't have Iron Cannon or have the Lost Cannon? It just hasn't been coded yet, really. Like a lot of what you're seeing is very early in progress. There's still a lot of the uh, general work for the factions, like the groundwork that has to be done for generic stuff like that. But, that, yeah, that's basically why. That stuff is honestly extremely tedious to do, so I tend to not like doing it all at once. Do a bit and then stop. I'll probably end up getting slower near Dave to do that bit while I do some other stuff too, because I want to get back into doing more of the art. I haven't really modeled or skinned anything in a while. And I'm starting to lose practice. Like, I did the Intego, I'm still not happy with that. Uh, the Gladiator reskin I liked, but. Uh, Sleverage working on the Millennium Falcon for Ascendancy. But then after that, he's actually doing the Millennium Falcon and the YT2000 for Ascendancy. Then he's going to do the Cardan for Ascendancy. And then hopefully he'll be able to do stuff that uh, we're using for both mods again. We're trying to get all the hero stuff out of the way for Ascendancy as quickly as possible. So, like, Slever's doing those three. Uh, Davis is working on the Eclipse, which hopefully can be done soonish. But... Uh, what are you classifying as battle cruiser? Like, they have the Bellator and they have the. the Praetor. So, two if you count it that way, but then they also have, like, they have the Reaper and Vengeance as heroes. No, 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 don't kill the Allegiance. Yes, retreat. Don't kill my ships. Just leave. Thank god. Those are expensive. Alright. Construction complete. Construction complete. I mean, they have a lot of pirate units. Maldru does. So I guess if we drop another ship here, we can take the space over Borlaeus too. I don't know if that's really overstretching. No, because now they can still take Marist anyways, so I guess we'll do that. Construction complete. Tactical battle imminent. No, the uh, the Penistar does not have allegiances. Frigate moving out. Incoming. 
The only ships they have over 2,000 meters are Choose your reinforcements. the Bellator, the Praetor, and uh, the Secutor. Looks like some of the, the bones are facing slightly backwards on the trigger, or uh, the allegiance. So we'll have to take a look at its rig. Or at least it's firing at us. Where'd he go? Nowhere to run. Because it should be, their firing arc should be like this way, and this way, but instead it looks like it's this way and this way. So, sides and back instead of sides and front. Targeting at maximum fire Star Vipers. Probably not Star Vipers, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Because they have a lot of fighters as it is, like all the Imperials. Our target priority is the laser. The lasers are our target. Retreat aborted. <laughs> Tactical battle imminent. Oh my god, how did that even happen? Alright, so we're not going to be able to beat that. What? Where did you come from? <laughs> Jesus. Uh oh. Um, that's awkward. Tactical battle imminent. Now they're doing what I did. How did tactical battle imminent? Did they get all the way? I have no idea what a Revenge class heavy carrier is. But we're not adding other people's fanon in the mod, so no. Ready. Active. Heading to coordinates. Going there now. I mean they must have, but that that would explain the them hypering in while I was moving my stuff would explain how the first five battle dragons and the other thing got there, but not how the 20 capital ships did. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep going. this. The precursor is always already in. System lost. Welp. Construction complete. Um All right. I think we're going to save there, and next time we will try to find out how to get out of this conundrum and take over the other half of the galaxy. Uh, so, thanks for coming everyone. I'm going to try to do this again uh, soon, I'll post when I'm doing it, of course. And I'm going to push these episodes to YouTube as well, so if you can't make it for that one. 
then, or you haven't made it for the other ones, if you're not here and you're obviously not hearing this. But... Uh, no, Revan, just that's actually, that's uh, a different issue. That's not a thing we're doing anyways. But that's just an issue with uh, those specific squads. But yeah, so I'll probably be doing another stream this week. I'm going to push the other these episodes to YouTube in the meantime. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. If you want to support either the mod or myself, uh, you can go to the to thronsadventures.com slash forums if you have any suggestions for stuff. There will be links to or mod database in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. If you also want to support uh, the content I make, then there's also a link to Patreon under the stream and in the description of the video. really do appreciate all the support, whether you support it that way or not. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys. I'm going to stick around in the chat for a bit if anyone still wants to talk, but I'm going to start making food. That's the main reason I'm stopping right now. I am starving. But again, thanks for coming. Bye.